So, so Raj, just explain, uh, how do you know if you've got hay fever? What are the symptoms? Well, it's that time of year, first of all, that might give you a clue. Um, as pollen counts rise, uh, depending on which plant you're, or flower or grass you may react, react to, it binds to the lining of the nose and the mouth and it actually sticks to the lining of the eyes as well. And then it causes specialised cells to release lots and lots of chemicals. An immune reaction happens. One of the classic ones being histamine, for example. Yeah. And that's what causes things like the swelling, the redness, the itchiness, the watering of the eyes, the running of the nose, sneezing, sore throat, cough. That's and for some people, it. especially if you've got asthma, it can make your asthma worse. So right. people who have got asthma, whose wheezing gets worse, during the summer, they need to be extra careful yeah. because they may actually have to step up their treatment. Well, okay. as um, Dr Scanning was saying then, that uh, uh, exam time, uh, uh, teenagers, youngsters are taking exams, it can be devastating yeah. for them. Yeah, my brother had really bad hay fever during his GCSEs mm -hmm. and he would have been one of these people who would have benefited from sublingual immunotherapy, mm -hmm. start it early so that during that season it's not so bad and keep repeating it every year so that you get a long-term benefit. Mm -hmm.